Good evening. My name is Carol Rausch. I'm director of Loyola Opera Theater. And my partner in crime tonight is Doug McDonough, who's director of LSU Opera. And he has staged this for us. This is um, the third event of our season this year. We did a Mozart concert, Mad About Mozart, in the Opera Guild home in November. We did Susanna in February. And now we're about to do a crazy French piece, uh, which I th suspect most of you haven't seen. It was premiered in Paris in 1947 at the Opéra Comique, and we think this might be the New Orleans premiere tonight, uh, because I couldn't find any uh, record of it having been done here before. It's based on, it has been done? Oh, oh okay, Jack Belsom said it hasn't been done, so then it if definitely it, then it, hasn't it's been not done. been done. It's based on a play by Apollinaire, uh, who coined the term surrealism in the preface to this play. And I think when we think of surrealism, we think of the crazy paintings by Salvador Dali or maybe Chagall, you know, just the, you know, the watches melting in the landscape and the little fiddlers on the roof and so forth. But uh, this play was the first surrealist work of art. And uh, so you're in for quite a treat. I guess if you know that the title of the opera is The Breasts of Theresius, that pretty much tells you what kind of evening you're in yes. for. It's not La Boheme. It's lighthearted. <laughs> A lot of sense of absurd, a lot of French risque, and uh, a lot of wordplay in French, which we can't quite translate on the screen. I want to say that I'm very proud of our mostly undergraduate cast for learning, putting lots of French words in their mouth at very fast tempi. Uh, so that's delightful. It's also, uh, Doug's going to tell you a little bit about the plot. There's also all kinds of music. You will hear, if you know Dialogues of the Carmelites, which was written about a decade later. You hear little snippets of that. You hear little references to uh, actually the coronation scene from Boris Gudunov. And then you hear dance hall music. So this has got a little of everything uh, and I think is just gonna be a delightful evening for you. And I'd like Doug to tell you a little bit more about his perspective on it. Well, a little bit more about mm. uh, the production itself. Obviously, we're dealing with a chamber-sized production, although it has a lot of people in it. Uh, I will ask you, if you're sitting on the aisles, please put your feet in. There's going to be action all <laughs> over the auditorium tonight, and some of it really surprising. Uh, we decided, uh, when Carol and I were looking at venues in which to do the piece, I walked into this hall, fell in love with this red curved curtain, because it said cabaret <laughs> show to me, and we started thinking, okay, how are we going to do this? And I said, well, we're at Loyola. We're in Nunamaker Auditorium. Let's just start it with a lecture. Because... <laughs> The opening scene, by, sung by the director, sets the tone and the message. Now, this piece really deals with two major themes. It deals with the first theme of making babies. Uh, written after the war, uh, there was, is an urging for France to repopulate itself. Uh, that's one of the themes, but also sexual roles. This is, was quite an advancement at the, at, for its time in that, as you'll see, the wife becomes the husband and the husband becomes the wife and creates his own miracle of how to make babies. Uh, so all kinds of questions come up and, and answers and, and frivolity and wonderful things, lots and lots of surprises. You'll find that as we leave our lecture hall, we transform, uh, the, the piece is originally set in a kind of mythical version of Zanzibar. Well, we created our own Zanzibar, uh, as in bar cafe, and the, and the action then spills out of that. Uh, we hope you have fun. It moves like gangbusters, lots of, lots of things to keep up with. Our wonderful lighting designer, Darcy Jameson, has come up along with Carol and a little bit of help from me, some terrific projections that will provide a lot of our scenic effects and hopefully give you a few laughs along the way at the same time. So for everybody, thank you for being here. This, thank you, Carol, because this has been, Doug, it's been a great. real <laughs> treat to be here finally, to, to meld the two programs together a little bit and for me to work with these wonderful, talented students here at the Loyola Opera Theater. So ladies and gentlemen, please enjoy Le Mamel de Theresias. Thank you. <laughs>
Il le 
Gratez-vous si vous avez des manches et des dents, des dents. 